<laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, and as I said, we'll be talking about topics that make people uncomfortable. Just open discussion. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video before we get any further. There are only two genders. All right, hi everyone, I'm Clelia. So uh, I think, and I know, there are two genders, um, male and female. One with a vagina and one with a penis. That, that is my opinion and that is my knowledge based on my training. Yeah, I agree. There are only two genders as well. There's a male and female. So I just, I agree. Yeah, there. Yeah. I also agree that there are two <laughs> genders, male and female. There's a distinction between gender and sex. Mm -hmm. No, I don't feel like gender and sex is the same because as you said, like somebody, somebody could say I'm a male, but then still in public they are, well, they are perceived, uh, well, let me know what is a perceived because they're not putting it on the perception of people, but then what they would have themselves to be as, would be as people would be like, so we probably say like feminine, mm. uh, so then you probably say, oh, he's a male, but he a acts like a female, issues. yeah, he acts mm -hmm. like a female. Or... I think that is sound reasoning, but I still feel how I feel. <laughs> that there's only two? The, that there's only the two. So even if, I always say for, 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 for transsexuals, regardless of surgery, it's how you feel inside. You're doing this because that's how you feel. You were born a man and you want to change it into being mm -hmm. a woman. Mm -hmm. And I still feel like you're still a man. No. There's the other parts of this where, you know, some persons identify as non-binary. Mm -hmm. I personally don't understand what that is. Um, and I am open to any sort of, you know, interpretation. But I, I can't speak on it really because I, I really just don't understand. What, what do you mean when you're not male or female? So what are you? Discrimination and or oppression exists based on gender. Oh, definitely. Yeah, I, I agree. Yeah. I, I believe it. Yes, yes, yes. Share your thoughts. In the Western Hemisphere, more specifically in the Caribbean, um, there are certain tendencies that are deemed male mm -hmm. and certain tendencies deemed female. And if you cross that line, you tend to be called, let's use an example. Like if a man is very delicate and feminine in the way, is his non-verbals or his body language, or he is a pussy or he's a sissy boy or whatever you wanna say, whatever you know. And um, a woman know she got on she air force them or whatever the case may be and baggy clothes, so she may be deemed a tomboy. They choose to. Um, Express. You know, express themselves in a way that we as society deem male or female and I think that is also um, oppressive of how you want to express yourself but as a person. There definitely, there's definitely um, oppression and there's definitely discrimination and it, it has to do with the way we're socialized. That is where the discrimination comes in and not just in the Caribbean, all over the world. Here in Taiwan, same thing, that's where there's wage gap because we believe Okay, a man will do this job better, no matter what the job is, and in most cases, it's not even the case. Should gender roles exist on a whole? Currently, I don't, I don't think, think, so. think so. I don't think no. so. No. Whatever what you think. <laughs> um, I mean, perhaps not in our generation as much. Uh, definitely with like our parents, um, and I, I think. They should exist. In our parents' generation, that's what you're saying. It did, yeah. Should. It should. Oh, should. Um, <clears throat> no, I like to be very specific when I talk about this. Um, and I'm going to say it in no uncertain terms. Um, I feel every individual has a role. And I don't think it should be based on whether you're a man or a woman but let's use the example of a romantic relationship the fact of the matter is it's a partnership and every mm -hmm. i think of a, a relationship like a business and everybody is going to have their specific part or role to play i, I agree yeah. that the, the <laughs> associating or labeling products and events 
for men and for women is justified. I feel like <laughs> we. Uh, <laughs> I feel no. I guess I, I don't I, want you guys to talk about anything. I feel like we we don't even care about that anymore. No, because. Just the other day I was talking to somebody and they were like, oh, they bought, um, no, they said that they like to wear men's cologne and stuff like that. So it's just, I feel like with the whole labeling events or labeling, labeling things like what, oh, because this is a man owned, we should buy that just because it's for a man or just because it's for one. I feel like now in this present time we don't. We, we, we look past those kind of things now and we just accept. If we like it, we use it. Because people as, I know people as well too, we grew up using, as you say, we grew up using um, like deodorant for like um, Arm and Hammer, Red Speed and stuff. But I know people just use Dove. We saying Dove is for females, right? You don't buy secret exactly. Matter. So yeah, people know <laughs> men, men and stuff like that just buy secret um, deodorant or Dove. So I just feel like, you know, it's just like, eh. I feel like it depends on whatever the service or uh, product is. Um, for instance, you mentioned like the cologne and things like that. No. There is a, a certain chemistry with a male's body versus mm -hmm. a female's body. And so um, certain things, you know, you have to have on the label to make sure that, okay, this is going to coincide well with my body, etc. Yeah. So I do believe that, you know, it should be apparent um, and explicit. What say you? Listen to me. I want, I want to talk about events, Listen the events. Now, in terms of clothing, for a simple thing like uh, jeans or shorts, women naturally aren't built the same as men. Men don't have hips. Men don't usually have a big ass or... Men are usually shaped different and the clothing are tailored to people's bodies. Now, it's the same with everything. There's male, female, there's unisex. I could wear this today as me, I could, Kelly, I could wear it as well, but this top, <laughs> if I was to put on this top, then it would, it's a, it, it's a blouse. There, there aren't usually male blouses, and males that usually wear these things are people that are more leaning towards gender change or how they, or how they feel. Testing points. <laughs> um, so, with all that being said, what makes something inherently male and female? Biology. <laughs> but so then still... Like biology to clothing though, like... Repeat the, the question. Just, I mean, sometimes it's just justification why something will be inherently male and female. What makes underwear, the type of underwear that we wear, male or female? It's cloth. It's not, it's it's not it's just cotton. What do you mean, it, what makes it different? What makes it different? The underwear... It's but man does still wear them, woman does still wear them. Woman don't wear man on, but no, but then not woman. Generally. You never know. I'm saying <laughs> that these clothing, these cloth as you said, mm -hmm. they're made to fit the package <laughs> that you're carrying. <laughs> I cannot, me, cannot comfortably be wearing a panty. It would make me and what I'm packing uncomfortable. Yeah. I think it's just society. Um, yeah. Society is the one that um, dictates what is okay, things. what is not okay, what is taboo, exactly. what is the norm. Even in, in, in Scot Scotland, Scotland, the way are killed, the men were are killed. <laughs> Well, it, 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 it looks... Okay, I stand corrected. This is a country. No, 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 no. I no. corrected. No, so you're going based off of name then, the, the term looks, that you use, because... <laughs> so you're saying nothing is inherently male and female, it's what we assume. have it to be, yeah. So uh, well, we define it to be male and female, and not that it is, within itself, as a product, inherently male and female. I won't say, I won't say nothing, but a lot of things... There's room for change. There is it is. change or are people just turning a blind eye to it now? Hmm, that's a good question. Because... Is it a blind eye? 
is it? Is it? <laughs> Some things I mean, they just don't, don't, you know? Because, because a lot of things, because I think people just accepting of a lot more yes. things. No, like that's why I said turning a blind eye to things. It's just no like, okay, then majority, I think it's just, as you said, society and majority rules. Mm. So it's like more people adapting, more people liking, more people doing these things. So then why, why just, why are we still trying to fight that? You know, then just accept it and let's just move on because I just feel like they're just saying, people just looking at it as like, okay, then this can happen and then we just we just move far from there. We, that's it. Mm -hmm. Aren't all top, top athletes, don't they all have physical advantages? Yes, but... That's within the confines of what is fear. If I don't... a female that has a higher level of testosterone and is able to outperform her other female counterparts, mm -hmm. is it unfair for her because she was naturally, she naturally produces more testosterone? So, okay. If it's unfair for her, I don't think it's unfair for her. No. So why is it unfair for a man to transition to a woman? Because a man would have more testosterone than a but female. What, okay, but what if, what so if a woman has the same amount? But uh, she. No, she no I'm glad like... that you brought up that example. <laughs> because what about the African athletes that are usually bad because of this reason? Mm. <laughs> okay, bear in mind gender. There are no more men in modern day society. <laughs> oh my god. There's no more men in modern day society. That's all like a hmm. statement, more than a question. So now, <laughs> there's no more the, man. The, the, the present man is different from the past man, but, and that is because of the technological revolution, I would say. A lot of things that men would have, would have had to do in the past, we don't have to do it anymore in this present generation. Our manliness. That there has been removed. The gap. Maybe someone from from 20, 30 years ago would be like, ah, oh, you're not a man, your hands off. I believe I would first let me define what I think a man is. Um, besides from the obvious in terms of the biological statutes. Um, and I guess this my definition is also influenced by society as well, but I'll say still um, Somebody who is a protector somebody who is a provider um, uh, and uh, <laughs> Somebody who and, and I'm assuming this is in the confines of a romantic relationship as well <laughs> um but yeah, those two big things, a protector and a provider, um, is what I would deem attributes of a man. And I would say like those things are still prevalent. No, I think sometimes the paradigm shifts in terms of um, <laughs> how those things are developed. For instance, Maybe in the Caribbean, I'm not so sure like in the rest of the world, but maybe in the Caribbean now There are some men who depend on women more so than they have a woman depend on them So mm -hmm. they would take money from women. They will be living in a woman's house and more more than likely this type of woman is a career woman um, Somebody who is financially stable and so that is attractive to this type of man. Would I define that person as a man? No, it's not the status quo, basically. Uh, but it is apparent. Um. So I feel like with um, being a man, um, we should be able to, as you say, provide. Um, we should be able to be a shoulder for not just for our partner but also they like, carry, carry burdens of carry burdens from um let me say like ourselves and even to be able to allow or accept other people's own and still move forward um strong that's why we always say men need somebody to talk to us or to because we know for a fact that we carry a lot of one we carry a lot of 
pain inside we we, we kind of suffer internally a lot and we say nothing what? um i feel like i want to cry and all i don't even know <laughs> i don't know i just yeah <laughs> wow me no okay yeah Thanks for watching. I want to thank you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the conversation. Um, don't forget again, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you guys next time on next topic. And don't forget where we are. We are at Supreme Cuts, and also we are Tikias Tiki Studios, Tiki Studios, and I'll link the description. I link it in the description box down below. Click the link and hit it up. Peace. Bye guys.